In a distant land, there was a prosperous and respected chief who ruled over a great and bountiful village. This chief had a daughter named Adoma, whose beauty was renowned far and wide. As Adoma reached the age of marriage, many suitors from across the land sought her hand. They came with gifts and promises, but Adoma was unimpressed, she found the young men too dull and the older, wealthier men unworthy, dismissing them as old and unattractive. Adoma's pride and vanity knew no bounds, and she believed no man in the land was worthy of her love. One day, the village was abuzz with excitement and commotion. A stranger, more handsome than any man anyone had ever seen, appeared in the market. News of the visitor's extraordinary beauty quickly reached the chief's palace. Curious, Adoma hurried to the market, where she immediately laid eyes on the most dashing man she had ever encountered. Captivated by his striking looks, she instantly fell in love and invited him to her home. The stranger, who introduced himself as a prince from a far-off land, was pleased by her attention and gladly accompanied her to the palace. Upon meeting Adoma's parents, he promptly asked for their permission to marry their daughter. Although her parents were hesitant and wary of the stranger, as they did not wish their daughter to marry a man from an unknown land, Adoma was determined. She refused to listen to their concerns and insisted on marrying the prince. Reluctantly, her parents gave their blessing after staying for a few days in the chief's compound, the prince expressed his desire to take Adoma to his homeland, a distant place that he promised was full of wonders. Despite her parents' pleas for her to stay, Adoma, headstrong and eager for adventure, agreed. It was a sorrowful day in the village as Adoma and the prince set off on their journey for many days, they traveled through thick forests and across wide rivers, until they finally crossed into the realm of the spirits. As soon as they entered the spirit world, strange and unsettling events began to unfold. A spirit approached the prince and demanded his legs, which the prince gave without hesitation. Another spirit took his arms, and yet another took his torso. By the end, all that remained of the once handsome prince was a floating skull. Adoma was horrified and frightened beyond words. The prince, now just a skull, laughed at her distress and revealed that his charming appearance was a mere illusion, borrowed from the spirits to deceive her. His true form was that of a spirit skull, and he had lured her away with his false appearance. Adoma, realizing the gravity of her mistake, pleaded to return home but the skull prince would not allow it. He forced her to continue with him to his home. When they arrived at the skull's dwelling, Adoma met his mother, an ancient and frail spirit who could barely move. Despite her fear and misery, Adoma dutifully helped the old spirit woman, cooking, fetching water, and gathering firewood. Her kindness softened the old woman's heart, and soon she grew fond of Adoma. Point one day, the old spirit woman took pity on Adoma and decided to help her return to her family. She warned Adoma that if she wished to go back to her world, she must promise never to disobey her parents again and to heed their advice. Desperate to return home, Adoma readily agreed. The old woman called upon the wise and clever weaver bird, known for its exceptional skill in hairdressing. The bird styled Adoma's hair in a stunning fashion adorning it with feathers and beads that shimmered like the morning dew. The old spirit then gifted Adoma with beautiful bangles and anklets as tokens of her gratitude. Using her magical powers, she summoned the gentle wind to carry Adoma back to her village. The wind carefully lifted Adoma and whisked her across the lands, eventually setting her down at the entrance of her father's compound. The chief and his wife, who had long feared they would never see their daughter again, were overjoyed at her return. There was celebration throughout the village with dancing, drumming, and feasting that lasted for eight days and nights. Grateful for her safe return, Adoma honored her promise to her parents. From that day forward, she listened to their counsel and was humbled by the lessons she had learned. The chief, determined to protect other families from similar heartache, decreed that no daughter of the village would ever marry a stranger without the elder's consent. Dot in time, a kind and honorable young man from a neighboring village came to ask for Adoma's hand in marriage. This time, Adoma carefully considered his proposal and, 
with her parents' blessing, agreed. She found happiness with her new husband, and together they had many children, living in peace and contentment for many years.